right, guys. Um, we got the Generac GP6500 portable generator. 6,500 running watts, 8,125 starting watts. Cowboys gonna get in my way. <laughs> but there she is. So we're gonna open her up. It says delivers over 40% more starting capacity, allowing you to do more with less. All right. We're opened up. We're gonna start with the first box. I guess we need some more to open. We'll let Nicholas do the opening and we'll see what we got. The wheels. wheels and all the equipment. Oh, I'll set this off the side. That's all the wheels and the hardware. Came with a nice piece of wood. <laughs> Handle. Bubble wrap. All right. Trash will fit right there in the pile. Okay, grab a side. Well, we're gonna set the camera over here, guys. And okay. this box right there. Ready? Right. opening. All right. Well, I not want to quite to it. And there she is, folks. Get this plastic off. She's a beast. So we're gonna get the, all the hardware put on it. It's the back side. All right, we'll see you in a second. All right, so this is all the hardware um, that we got. We gotta put on some back wheels and there's the pegs for all that and the only thing is I don't see one little carter pin is there another one in the bag nope. I dumped everything right there well we'll have to I'm sure he's got carter pins out in the shed so all right we're gonna get this all together I'm probably gonna throw you on a time lapse while we do that because it's gonna be time consuming All right, so just had some little bushings we had to put on. I did a little time lapse of that. You know, you would figure, I, mean, I could probably use that. With everything you buy, you spend a $1,000 or whatever on a nice generator, and we're missing one cotter pin for the wheels. And we didn't lose it, because I dumped everything out of the hardware package in the same spot, and it didn't go nowhere. But anyways, so what we're gonna do is we're gonna try to put a nail in it, and use it as a cotter pin. Probably can't even see down there. It's dark as can be. You go get a flashlight. So basically, you can see. Come over here. There you go. You see down in there. It's gonna put that nail through, and then we're gonna try to bend it over with some pliers, hopefully. And I got a set of pliers over here, which there's not. Oh, yep, right there. see 
Basically all that's gonna do is keep the wheel from falling off. She's not coming off now. So I just bent the nail over and we're good. Right, sir, we're up. Yep, we gotta read the instructions and we gotta put the handle on still. So I'm gonna throw you on another time lapse. We're gonna throw this handle on and then we're gonna pour some gas in and read the instructions and fire up. So we got the wheels on and all that. It's just simple hardware. Follow your instructions. Um, screw, uh, nuts and bolts, basically it. Um, got the handle on. Now he's gonna pick the handle up and wheel it over to the door. And we're gonna check the oil and put some gasoline in it and pretty much read the instructions and make sure everything's all set. And then we're gonna fire her up for the first time. So That's not very heavy either. Nana could easily do it, like move this and pull this herself. Sweet. Leave it right there for now. <clears throat> Alright, we're gonna look at these instructions. Real quick. This is the warranty paperwork, so she's probably gonna want that. She got the three year protection plan. It was like uh, 200 bucks. That's just a rough estimate. That's not exactly what it was, but it's like 169 or something. Okay, so we got this. Uh, introduction and safety. Drain. So we just basically gotta check the oil. Bring it over here. Probably no oil in it. Yeah, there's no oil in it. All right, so we gotta get that all together and then we're gonna put oil in it and gas. So we'll see you in a second. So this is your dipstick. Self will save. Oh yeah, okay, so you go on until the top, I guess. Cause at the bottom it says L. And at the top. All right. I didn't mean to do that. So it's, in the instructions, it says fill until you hit the full mark on the dipstick, and the dipstick doesn't have the full mark. But I know where it is now. So we're just going to pour oil in. Tell me to stop. It's probably going to take quite a bit. So. All right, stop for a second and check it. Don't pour oil all over the garage. Well, I was well grab the jug and stick it back in the jug. Thank you. I ain't trying to be a jerk, but... It's definitely going to take more oil than that. Yep, keep going. This right, you might as well just pour the whole thing in. No, because then it might be too much. I don't know. Just pour about half and we'll check it again. It's already below half. Is it? Yeah. 
It's not that heavy. Oh, let me just, yeah, pour it. Alright, wait. Let's check. Never. Check her again. Yeah, put it all in. So it takes all of it, folks. But you know, I, I ain't sure because I've never put oil in a generate generator before, so I just tested it, pour a little bit in at a time and be safe rather than being stupid and pouring the whole jug in. Is that all of it? Almost. Let's check it one more time. Well, I hope that's enough. It's gotta be. They I imagine they measure out bottles just the right amount, you know. But it was better to be safe than sorry. Yep, that's perfect. We'll find a rack for that. <sighs> now we just gotta put gasoline in it. So let us grab the gas and. A weird feeling this takes a lot of gas. And now we're filling it with gas. So all in all, it's pretty easy to put this together. There ain't, there ain't much to it. Look, found that cord that comes with it. Does it have four outlets on it? Yep. It's pretty cool. Pretty big tank. <laughs> I was gonna say this little can barely fills it. Well, we're gonna fill it right to the brim, so probably need another can. Probably one of the bigger cans. Yeah. Cause you didn't even move the gas gauge. We'll just have to take the empty ones back and fill them again. All right, so we got to get more gas out of the shed, and we'll finish filling it. Right now, this is move it, move out the light. Uh, right now, this is E, and that's full. And we just put that whole can in, so she takes quite a bit. I wish it would tell me. It probably tells me somewhere in the manual. We'll look that up before we end the video. Right. Okay. Can you sort of move that way just a hand? Yep. Oh, I can go on the other side. There we go, so I can watch the gauge. Easy. Is the can itself leak leaking? Mm. At the yeah, seam? Yeah. It's dripping, but just fill it. I wipe it up. It's about half. Almost. Stop for a second. I want that drain in. Can you not? 
keep on trucking. I'm probably about under a quarter of the way of this. Oh, oh. Let's see. How much is left? Keep going. Might take all that. Almost empty now. Check it again. How much is left? Not very much. We're right, we're right there. Oh, Look. I can see it. Let's see. Hey, you might be able to fill all, put all that in. Go ahead. I'll watch it. So we know it almost holds five gallons or over. That's good. I don't like pouring the last little bit out of cans. All right, so we gotta get this cap back on. Then we're gonna fire her up. Wait, so it has an on switch, not a full start? All right, here we go. We're gonna start it for the first time. Turn the switch on. for a bit. All right guys, so that was the uh, Generac generator that we got. Um, all the machinery went together really easily. The handle went together really easily. We put the oil in it. Put the oil in, put gas in, she fires right up. So, so far, I mean, we haven't had no power outage or having to really run it. I ran it for about half an hour just to, you know, let the oil get through it and the gas and all that. But, I mean, so far, it's pretty decent. I, my buddy, Kenny, you know, you guys all know Kenny. He has one. So, I would recommend Generac. Uh, Predator's okay if you just need a little one. They, they run pretty good. They work pretty good. Um, you actually saw me use that one when I was doing the uh, junk. So, this little predator one. But you can smell that this thing was getting broke in. Burning the paint off the exhaust. All that. So, But anyways, there she is, the Generac. We'll see you next time. Keep on naturing.